Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So yes, I've been gone for just over a week. Um, I just got back from Alaska and uh, my trip was amazing. The weather was perfect and I had a lot of fun with my family. So um, yeah, so I'm back and I just wanted to uh, share a couple of things with you guys and just let you guys know what's gonna happen here on the channel coming up this week. I'm going to tell you all about my trip for one. Um, my my, my construction my renovations are going well and um, yeah this week we're going to do a lot of unboxing of items I ordered a ton of stuff and they finally came in while I was away so this week we're going to do some unboxing of fun things okay so yes one of them is Timu but that's not what I'm really excited about <laughs> I can't wait to share with you guys anyway this week we're gonna do a lot of stuff a um, couple of um, creative things we're gonna make some stuff today we're gonna make something actually um, and uh, yeah I'm gonna do some unboxing so let's talk about what we're gonna do here today on the channel I wanted to first show you guys uh, the finished product of the two borders that I made with the Nouveau drops or the um, the stickles or whatever it's really called I don't have them right here in front of me but this is what they look like when they're done and dry and ready to be used and this is the actual uh, 3d version of it so what I would then do is take this to my printer and print it or copy it as many times as I want and use it in a project all right same with this one this is the actual 3d I would then copy it to make it a 1d um, piece of ephemera that I can use in a project so yeah I'm really proud of how these came out I left them alone for Oh, I don't know, like two and a half weeks. <laughs> I've completely left them alone. And uh, yeah, I would then copy this and make it into something fun and useful in my um, in my projects. So yeah, I hope you guys gave this a try. If you did, let me know. And uh, yeah, tag me. Tag me down below or tag me in any of your projects that you make. I love just seeing what you guys are doing out there. So yeah, it's at Chronicles of a Crafter or hashtag Chronicles of a Crafter and I will find you and show you guys some love out there. All right, so today we're going to make um, a spine dangle. So I am going to be making a really cool journal coming up and I'm making this journal in pieces, right? So I believe a few weeks ago I made like a folio that you can binder clip into the journal. I also made the cover which included an image of Edith Holden. Yeah, so today I'm going to make a spine dangle that will dangle off the side of the spine of the journal. And I'm just going to show you guys like some of the things that I found. This is just like somebody's junk, right? So someone dropped this either off the side of their purse when they were walking or um, threw it away, right? So it would have naturally been picked up and, throw and be thrown into the garbage. So this is like a little... Um, what is this like a little tassel that would hang off the side of a purse or a wallet or something like that right I found this in the airport during my travels and I found this which is like a little leather it says coach on there it's like a little leather label or tag right and um, this I found on the street in Seattle okay so we're gonna use a couple of these garbage trash junk right it's someone else's junk and we're gonna make a little spine dangle from it because as soon as I saw this I was like yes thank you whoever dropped this I could totally use this and then when I found this it didn't dawn on me at the moment but um, yeah we're just gonna use this as embellishments to make ourselves um, a really cool spine dangle all right nothing fancy you've seen it before you've you've seen me do it before and um, yeah we're just going to um, you know just create from what we already have all right two ticks I'm gonna get some more embellishments and we'll be um, creating a spine dangle today so I'll be right back 
Now a spine dangle can be made out of many different things. You can do strictly jewelry, you can do fabric, you can do ribbon, even shoelaces if that's all you have. I mean why not use it? You can coffee dye this and make it into an incredible little um, piece of uh, jewelry that can hang from the spine of your book. Um, here I have some fabric uh, that I just cut into strips and that was my intent is to use this as a spine dangle. I also have here some baker's twine. I have some regular twine. This is like for a tag or something. Uh, a couple of those. Some more fabric. So yeah, we can do whatever we want to make the spine dangle including using actual jewelry pieces. So these are some paper beads that I made into spine dangles previously and I just hung some additional jewelry pieces like some charms uh, from the bottoms of the actual piece of um, this is a uh, paper paper beads <laughs> and yeah I just basically just wrapped wire around paper and made this okay so I'm just going to give you guys some examples of what a spine dangle looks like this is a spine dangle on the side of a actual journal. This one I think I'm going to put into my Etsy shop. In case you guys have not seen, I will put the video for the series on how to make this journal. This was one of my very first journals that I ever made. It's the Boho Butterfly Junk Journal that I made here on this channel. And there's so many elements in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, whoever gets this journal is going to love their life. There's so much stuff in here to play with, not to mention the awesome um, spine dangle that's hanging here. This is another version of a spine dangle. I received this journal from AZ. She made this journal for me. It's the Alice in Wonderland journal. And here is another example of a spine dangle dangle or spine jewelry as we call it. So yeah, this will just dangle off the side of the book as it sits on your shelf or in your um, on your bedside table or what have you. And here is what this one looks like. Again, it's just it's just some bling that goes along the side of your journal on the spine. And we can start making one of our own. So again, this is just some paper beads that I started with and some of them are pretty much complete like all I really need to do is like add these elements to it I put a chain and a jump ring on this leather piece and I think I want to start my spine dangle off with a fish hook I think this is what it's called I'm not sure. I believe it's called like a fish eye or a fish hook or something like that. And it's one of these clasps that open up like like that. Right. So I'm going to use that as my connector piece to um, to the ball pin that will hang from the spine. And I'll just add some more little charms and whatnot. Oh, that's so pretty. This is a this is a a resin piece that was made with um what is it called? Uh like the two-part resin, you know? I just poured that into a heart-shaped silicone mold poured the resin in and then dropped a bunch of beads into the resin and this is what you end up with right so here I'll try to get that to focus for you guys because it is really pretty so maybe I'll hang this from yeah that's what it looks like maybe I'll hang this from the spine as well all right so I think I'll use one of these one of these um, paper beads as well as this 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 and maybe some fabric all right so to start with the fabric you just want to grab as a couple of pieces as many pieces as you want um, i have here some sari silk as well as some string beads already on a string um, 
this is some golden obsidian I know it's hard to focus because my camera wants to focus on some of everything but this is called golden obsidian four millimeters at six dollars for this entire string of beads right here I picked that up at a bead store so what I want to do is just grab some of this fabric in various colors so I have white I have cream which I believe I coffee dyed and I'm going to hang them at various lengths so I'll do something like this right where it's long on one side short on another same with this one long and short and yeah that's pretty cool um, I may take some of this sari silk and add that to it so all you're really going to do is like one figure out how long you want your excuse me your spine dangle to be right usually it's not longer than the book so about eight or nine inches um, my books are normally between eight and nine inches long and I'm just going to add a couple of fun pieces on there so just think about like you know however long your book is going to be and then you want to scale it back just a little bit okay and um, let's add some of this pretty fabric I don't know what the book itself the one that I'm actually making haven't made it yet so I really don't know what it's going to look like but you can always make all these different elements to go with your project and then figure it out afterwards that's always a fun little thing to do a little surprise all right so I have all of this fabric right here that I want to use so all I'm going to do now is just take it at the top right there I'm going to use some of that that twine if I can find it not the baker's twine just the regular <laughs> Uh, oh here it is <laughs> just the regular twine <laughs> and I'm just gonna wrap it around the neck part of that fabric and I will pull it tight and tie it in a knot okay so that's pretty much all that is it's just all of your fabric tied around um, at the top it's like a little loop that you've made you just tie off the neck part into a little bow or a knot just to get it started so there's that I'm gonna tie it backwards and then tie it forwards again just so that I know that that fabric isn't going anywhere you can also loop the the twine into the loop that you made for the fabric but some of my fabric like the sari silk is just a single piece I didn't loop anything there so um, it's just a single piece of uh, sari silk all right so I've got this tied off pretty tight right here pretty tight okay um, what I want to do is possibly grab a jump ring like a beefy jump ring this is a five millimeter but it's like a 20 I mean a um, a uh, 10 gauge jump ring right it's thicker and beefier than any other jump ring that I have so I'm just going to take this and open it up if I can oh, these are so hard yeah, these jump rings are super um, beefy, like they're super thick and very, um, very strong. So I'm just going to loop it underneath here, probably in the back of this. And just get it started. Okay, so I'm going to close that back up. Oh, first I want to... Um, let's add a key ring let's add a key to it so yeah I'll just put a key with let's do a bald nose 
Let's do a bold nose with a key. And I'm just going to drop that on there and then close this back up. So this will be the start of my dangle. Okay. And then everything else will hang from it. As long as I can get that to close. Okay. So everything else will dangle from here. And then what I'll do is I'll take this part and use it to create the second loop, which will go to the book. So I'm just going to tie this off right here. It might be a little too short, but we'll find out. Okay, so here's all of this. Okay, so this will be the section that we connect to the book, and this will be the section that we connect to um, all the other charms and such. All right, so from here, I will include this guy, which we found. This is just someone else's trash. <laughs> so I'm going to open this up. Oh, this is so hard. Another one that's like 10 gauge or more. Uh, I'm just going to pop this on right here. I don't see how this fell off of someone's purse because this right here is pretty hard. It's pretty dense uh, metal. All right. So anyway, their loss are found. And um, so far we have that. And then I will add this guy, which I found coming off the escalator. Um at the airport as well so again I'm just going to use a little bald nose I just added a gold chain to it from my gold chain stash so I just cut off a piece of that and added it to this and I'm just going to loop my bald nose pin right through there and loop it through right through here okay So now we have various various lengths going on. We got, you know, the, the the tassel, the key, the little label or leather label or tag hanging from there. And again, this is the part that's going to be connected to the book right here. All right. So the last thing I want to do is possibly add this heart to the paper charm with see I'll use a gold a gold um, uh, jump ring to do that these are all so tiny <laughs> they're so tiny all right so pop that open loop the little heart onto my paper charm and I think I made a video with this paper charm. If not, I think I did. I'll have to look for it and um, I'll put it right up here for you guys if I did, okay? I'll just put it right there in the corner for y'all to find it very easily instead of having to hunt it down. But this paper charm um, that I made I learned this from Pam at the Paper Outpost. So if I find her video, which Pam has so many, if I find her original video, I'll also link that in the description box down below for y'all. But yeah, I made this probably, I don't know, like a year and a half ago. So, and this one already has the little bulb nose pin at the top which I don't actually need because I have this fish hook right there. So, but for, for length, I will leave it just to give me some variation in length. All right, so there's that. This is what we have so far. I like it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I like it a lot. I think it's gonna look great. 
on um, the spine of a journal that I make. I think I also want this little message in a bottle that I made. Again, if I find the video for this, I think it's part of this Paper Charm series. I will link it for you guys right up here. Um, if I am going to put this into the project, I will need a, a pin. Whoa, that just happened. I'll need a pin with the little eye at the top. So here, I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like looks like that right it has a little a little loop at the top so I will break it off right about halfway um, with this tool right um, so just about halfway I'll snap that off and then insert it into the cork portion of the bottle and if that doesn't work, we can always use a pin. Let's try my glue pin. Okay. So, <laughs> I just pulled it out. All right, so here's a perfect opportunity for me to reinforce this message in the bottle with the cork. So I'm gonna use some Fabrifix glue if it wants to play today. Oh dear. Oh, my other Fabrifix is ready to play. This one has been sitting in my glue stand, so it's always ready. That worked out really well. All right, so I'm gonna reinforce that with um, some Fabrifix, and then I'll also reinforce this pin that I want to use in the bottle with some Fabrifix glue as well. And then I'll just push that down right in there. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the dangle, um, but not now because it has to dry. All right, so I will add that to the project later. All right, so let's go ahead and reassemble my glue and show you guys our finished product. So what we've done today was just made ourselves a cutesy little spine dangle, right? This is just a bunch of charms and found items and paper beads, uh, <laughs> some fabric, right? So all of this will go onto the spine of the book that we make with this guy. This is our little fish hook. Um, so remind me guys that I need to create when I'm making the journal I need to make sure that there is um, that there is a, an eyelet at the top section of the book in the spine to accommodate for this alright so here I just hook that onto a jump ring close it up and we have ourselves a spine dangle there's the fish hook that will hook on to the eyelet that I add to the spine all right and here is our finished product all right guys I'm gonna leave you right here I have plenty to work with now and again I will add this to the um, to the dangle as well um, probably on its own so it'll dangle up here closer to the key and um, yeah now we have ourselves a cool little spine dangle I'm gonna leave you guys right here I hope you guys have a super crafty day go do something wonderful make a spine dangle guys like it's so easy to do I have a lot of things here on my desk that I need to clean up now but I want y'all to have a super crafty day and uh, thanks to each and every one of you for checking out all of my videos, watching my videos, liking my videos, sharing the videos, as well as hitting the bell for notifications after you've subscribed because that's how you're notified each and every time that I upload a new video. All right, I hope you guys do something great with your crafting spaces and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Stay naturally curious. Bye.